Hi everyone and welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. I'm Miranda and this is my one year ACDF surgery update. This is not one of my traditional art videos. This is a video for those who are looking for an update from my previous videos about my ACDF surgery. First, let me say thank you to all of those who have watched my previous ACDF surgery videos and have left comments and well wishes. I very much appreciate that and I know what a big decision it is to have this surgery and I hope that this video will help you make that important decision. I know only a person who's had ACDF surgery can truly understand it. Your surgeon can't understand it, your family usually can't understand it, but that decision is so important and I'm glad I can walk with you on that journey. Just to recap, I had ACDF surgery uh, one level, six, seven, about a year ago during the holidays. And I had a lot of nerve pain, I had tingling, I had horrible headaches, I actually went to the hospital and they told me I needed to see a surgeon. And I actually saw two surgeons, I got two opinions that said that I needed to have ACDF surgery because I had pretty severe nerve compression. So I decided to have the surgery. I did my first video soon after the surgery. It went pretty well and I was only in for 24 hours but soon after the pain really hit and it was probably the worst pain I'd ever had and you can check out that video and see and that includes childbirth. I'm going to be honest with you and um, that was an experience and so about six to eight months I left another update. I was doing better um, but not 100% and I, it kind of left me questioning, you know, was I going to be 100% ever? Was I truly going to be better essentially? And I made this video because the surgeon always says it takes a year for a lot of people before they finally see the benefits of the surgery completely. And then when I went back for my last visit, he's like, it may take two years. I'm like, great, it just keeps on moving back. But I think that is definitely the truth. Of you who commented that you didn't have any pain and you were fabulous after your surgery you know kudos to you you're superhuman you did great that was not my experience I'm pushing 50 um, that just was not my experience at all actually so you know is the pain better now yes was it better for me uh, a few weeks after surgery no it wasn't it was probably worse so I, I just have to say that, but um, you know, everybody's different. So, you know, that's what I would say. The three things that I would say are one, manage expectations because everybody's different. Everybody feels things differently. Everybody has a different experience and it's just like life. Everybody's journey is different. You may be superhuman and feel no pain and that is fabulous. And you may be like me and it takes a long haul and I think that's the majority of people where it takes a while to get to a point where you say you know what I'm doing better and it, it just depends where you were before the surgery uh, you may have immediate pain relief and that's fabulous but this surgery itself is not without pain don't let anybody tell you any different the next thing I would say is you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days you're gonna have good weeks and you're going to have bad weeks and that's something you need to realize. It's not going to just totally, it's great, it's gotten great, I'm wonderful. I, I don't believe that. If, if you've had that experience, you can come and say, yeah, I did. I got through surgery, I had no pain, and I felt wonderful. And yeah, kudos to you. Fabulous. I'd love to hear it. Let us know. The third thing I'll say is I'm not at the point that I could say for sure that I could do everything I could before the surgery, before I started having this problem. And when I do, then I will be sure to post an update. If two years from now, I am the best I've ever been, I have no pain, no muscular pain, because I had a lot of muscular pain, and that's expected in your back and neck, but I had it for years beforehand as well. Is it better? Yes, but I have to understand that I now I have a metal plate in my neck and screws, and that I may never be the person I was before surgery. All I can say is be realistic. Now, all in all, I am doing better than I was a year ago, and that's saying something. All in all, I hope this update helped, and I pray that you have a very positive experience with this surgery and that you get pain relief because that is what is important. Thanks for watching, and if you want to leave a comment or ask a question, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So God bless, and feel free to watch my other videos, and I wish you a prosperous and happy new year. Bye now.